So it's um, just after 6 p.m. on October the 7th, and I'm going to call to order the public hearing to discuss the um, update to the Hardwick Municipal Plan. Um, Municipal plan, so we'll move right into that. Um, I just want to thank the Planning Commission for all their work on this plan. I think um, it, reading it through, it's evident that a lot of effort has gone into it, and um, definitely appreciate that. Um, so, uh, our we, we don't have um, a lot of audience to respond to. Uh, for this, uh, but we do, <laughs> we have Kristen Lee here, our zoning administrator, and we have uh, Dave Gross, who's uh, uh, chair of the plan, your chair, right? Yep. Uh, the planning commission here. Do you want to say anything about the plan? Um, I can just give a quick overview if you want. Sure. What it was. Um, the previous plan clocked in at something like 109 pages, mm -hmm. and um, Part of the weakness of the plan was it had been tagged on and added on um, without a complete review, really, I think, um, and over time. We, and we had to do a, a complete update, correct? Yeah. We, we had a timeline, we had to do it. Yep. Right. Okay. And uh, so we're required to update it. It was every five years, and now we, this will be eight years, I believe, we're good for. Um, but it was also the town plan really wasn't a usable document. It was uh, difficult to find information, um, and a lot of things were repeated or conflicted. So you read one thing in one place and something else in another. Um, and so it, it needed a good cleaning is what it got. So what we did, first of all, was just go through and kind of take out things that didn't need to be there or outdated. And then was a bit of a rearranging of what needed to be in the plan, as you can tell. So it, um, we organized it in 12 sections by topic. And these are the ones that are um, suggested slash required by the state. For instance, economic development or water resources. Those are two examples. And um, including the title pages with, I don't know where we are with the photographs right now, but as far as text, we got it down with an appendix down to 48 pages. Um, so it's going to fall, we basically carved out about half. But the nice thing is, if you want to know something about, you know, economic development, there's a section you can go find there. If you want to know something about water resources, there's a section you can go to. And um, a couple places, uh, for instance, um, with uh, electric vehicle plugins, well, was that under transportation or is that under energy efficiency? But you only had two places and it was in transportation. But, um, so those type of questions, it's very hopefully easy to get to and hopefully will actually serve as a plan and, uh, um, and a guiding document. Um, not only for our uh, bylaws, which are based upon it, um, but also for hopefully be helpful to the community and the select board to see. Yeah, great. Um, do folks on the select board want to provide any commentary or? I think it is an enormous piece of work. I can only imagine the number of hours, discussions, um, sorting through, I, my hat is off to you. To go from 109 to 48 pages is not trivial, even if you do it, some of it, by changing the letting and the font with which you talk. Actually, we went out bigger. You went bigger. I went bigger. That's why I asked you what font. Yeah, because was it was, it, yeah, it was I like nine points. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's a, it's a different font, font and, and the, nine the, yeah. the numbering is, is all more legible yeah. for someone. Well, it reads well. Um, I don't know enough about the issues to know about the decisions, really, but I just, I'm in awe of what you guys have done. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
No, uh, I mean I was part of the the little ad hoc committee when we were when we first started working on. I don't remember. Was that so that it would go through the last time? I don't remember. It's yeah. A so then we yeah. Uh, so that was a big group that. But that's around the time that we realized how many places where it was like repetitive and circular, like, uh, yeah. It's so much better, more concise, easy to make reference to. I mean, it, yeah, I, I haven't read like the statute, but I think the town plan is supposed to be sort of a working document that you can actually refer to and get um, Answers guidance to from. It's the idea is that we, so we have kind of a consistent direction that we want to work in, and this is a big improvement for that. Yeah. And my little questions and things that I wanted to know about, I asked in previous hearings, so I'm all good. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm impressed that it's as concise as it is, and yet still calls out a lot of specific things. I mean, there was no, you know, things that we're continually working on, things like, um, there's a reference to, to looking at, um, uh, preserving like wellhead quality for springs off Reno Road. Oh, that's awesome, and that's something that that we're you know interested in. There's a thing in the I think it's in flood resilience about um, getting the fire department either out of the flood, either you know making it flood proof or moving it out of the flood, things like that. There are things that we're aware of. We need to keep working on, but it's good to have them in there yeah. as, as like a Helps to pass it reminder. To other boards and uh, right, if we don't get it done, different people right. come through, and they have something to look to. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. Anybody else want to say anything? <laughs> <laughs> um, we should have a call-in yeah. option. Yeah. We can we saying we're talking. We'll right. talk about. It. The credit also belongs to the, uh, really, the uh, commission members, um, Jim Lewis, Ken Davis, Diane Grenko, Joyce Mandeville, um, Ken, Ken, Davis. Ken Davis, and then, uh, yeah. Did he? No, I thought I did. So that he did so much work, we put him in twice. But, um, and also, um, we had early on, Sean Ainsworth, who started the process and did a lot of good work, but then because of um, uh, work requirements with AOT, um, he could maintain it. But he, he did agency of transportation. It was. It's now but he also was on that task that ad hoc committee. So, so he got interested then. That was good. Yeah. That he. So it was uh, um, uh, a, 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 a diverse group that we kind of gelled and really had a lot of different viewpoints and uh, sometimes <laughs> rather humorous conversations. But uh, it got done. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's um, so we, we've talked about this, and um, <laughs> we've all read it, and we've all read it before. Remember, can people dial? <laughs> <laughs> I have a cell phone. Um, now, so the point of the public hearing really is to take input from the public, and. Um, so we can talk I know about this the is process again because we do yep. have another thirty days. Yep. Right. Yeah. Uh, till we have we have another public hearing, right? That we have to have one more. That's right. So we and that's it is thirty days. Is it? I don't know. Yes. It's November November sixth. November sixth. So we'll 30, do that. It would be thirty days. Yep. So we can we'll. So there'll be another hearing that day. Yeah, when we schedule that, which we'll do after this, so we'll schedule it for November the sixth. So if anybody's watching and wants to weigh in, there's another opportunity on November the sixth to go over this again. Or you could come now because you have a whole half an hour. <laughs> yeah, because we'll be here till six forty-five. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, we have to wait anyway. So. It's available on the website if they want to log on and start reading and ask simple questions. <laughs> yep, so there's the town plan, there's the um, maps that are on the website, and there's even a thing for submitting comments, right? <laughs> Solicitation of comments. It was more for the planning commission conference, but I just yep. wanted to ride the yeah. description. So there's a link if you want to read it.
glasses. Oh, right. So, well, if you go to hardwickvt.org and you go under government and then zoning, you'll have all that stuff. Uh, news also on the front as yeah. a news item. Okay. Yeah, news page. Right on the first page. There you go. So you can read all about it. And it's not that long, so you can actually read it. You can yeah. look at the maps that are, you know, all in color. And I learned something. I didn't know where Turtle Pond was. Uh, I don't know where Turtle Pond is still. Where should I look for that? On the, <laughs> on the, on the maps online that are not, oh, they're okay. like not in the, included in the plan, but they're, they're, okay. yeah, but they're, right, they're not in this draft document we have tonight, yeah. but they're part of the, they're, part of the plan. There's, there's, Printed copies. Oh, there are. This is a thing. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Another thing, the template. Nice well look. Thing, what we do, what we don't seem to have an updated Some version of is a Hardwick marketing so study. I think they call it for people who are looking to build a business in this town. Um, but this is a really good document that can be second for that sort of thing. I think. I mean, you get a lot of information here if you're thinking of. You know, so if there's somebody out there who knows someone who's thinking about opening a business in Hardwick, you should really send them to the website and let them take a look at all of our little, all of our little stats. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing. So where's the turtle? Way up there. It's almost in Greensboro. Oh, I wondered what that was called. There? I don't. I don't know. Does anyone know if his turtles live there or the shape of it is just kind of turtley? I think it's got a lot of phosphorus. Uh -oh. <laughs> Maybe turtles once lived there, <laughs> but no more. That's true. The way it came up in the narrative was that it was it's possibly more, threatened yeah. by runoff. Yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty small pond, shallow. Yeah. Shallow, yeah. That's my understanding. Yeah. Um. Do these guys have to be here for the next meeting? The next meeting? The, well, the November the 6th? No, for the 645 meeting where we officially declare no. that. We're just they setting that. <laughs> I don't see any re I mean, they're here to answer questions. Right. There's no one here. Right. So don't, they don't, they're, they're not us. They they're don't, not they're required not to the stay. Meeting. Exactly. So, so far staying. Yes. Could I suggest a motion to adjourn this public hearing? Mm, I don't know that we, I mean, we. We could. I mean, I guess we scheduled it till. I think last time we did um, six forty-five. We had it was scheduled for half an hour. There was about ten minutes, and then nothing more. And we did adjourn it early, and we basically just said, you know, if somebody shows up, we're here until it ends. So but that's because we were doing the. We were staying anyway for, for select, board select board meeting. Yeah. Well, we have to do that yeah. anyway because we have Because yeah. we have another one so we have to do. We show a start time but no finish for the hearing. Oh, we do? Yeah. On the it's not bracketed. What was posted? 6 p.m. hearing to hear from the public. Right. So we don't have to run the hearing forever. No. That's my interpretation. So they could go home and get supper. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I would say thank you very much. For just point of order. Do you want to go ahead through the motion? Hmm? Shit, there was a motion to adjourn. Just point of order. Well, don't I want to um, set the? I think I want to set the um, date for the next hearing first, don't we? We have to wait until six forty-five to do that. Why? That's because what's happening. Because advertised. of the posted time. Unless I'm inaccurate on that. So at our select board meetings, though, we post an agenda. And we tell people this is our agenda, but if we're moving ahead, you should be here at six if you want to be sure, right? Mm -hmm. Because even though we have times on our agenda, we may be running ahead or behind of that schedule. I'm yeah, I'm except the, to that. it has a separate warning, no? The special meeting has a separate warning. Yeah, oh, we have another special meeting? To set that time. Right, because this is the we, public hearing. We had to do a special... We're having a special select board right meeting at 6.45. Yeah. Uh, so people could stuck. come to that. Stuck. Okay, I see. The so yes, so let's... Okay, <laughs> so we're going to adjourn this public hearing. The select board members and staff will be here till 6.45 anyway when we're going to embark on our next journey. So we're going to close, we're going to adjourn this public hearing.
and yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank, thank you for you. coming.